All right, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create this mock-up style background with the shadow or the reflection that will allow you to present your items in a professional manner. So let's get started. My name is Daryl Wilson with DX Decor Graphics and Design representing Sublimation and More Facebook group. So in order to start this tutorial we will need to open my iPhone mockup and I will be showing you how to create this mockup in another vid video so um, keep a lookout for that. So I have my mockup open. I'm going to go on Google Chrome and search for a background image by searching for table background images and I'm going to select one that I like it will probably have a watermark on it because I haven't purchased this image so if you want to purchase this image, just go to their website and purchase it from them. So I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Let's exit that. Then let's exit that. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to drag it into Photoshop, put it on a new, new layer. All right, we got that. So now I'm going to take my phone case and drag it over to this image. Alright, there it is. Okay. I'm actually going to delete this shadow because I'm going to show you how to create that. So, here's the phone case. Let me find an image to place in the phone case just so it looks better. Let's just go to my images and sample images and let's just drag in the pink ones here. So what I'm going to do with this is that right there. All right, so we got the image on the phone case. We can size it down. And like I said, I'll show you how to create th this this template, this uh, mock-up for the phone case in another video, so just keep a lookout for that if you would like to know. Okay, so now we got our phone case. Now let's create the shadow on the bottom so it looks like it's setting or reflecting off of the table here. And how you want to do that, you want to grab the whole phone case by selecting all the pieces of it, create a copy of it, you can either hit Control C, then Control V to paste it, or you can select the layers in your layers palette or panel and drag them down to the new layer, and that will select them and make a copy. Then at that point, press Control T for transform. Then your box will come up. Then um, right click on the image and click flip vertical okay then you can hit enter and then with the layer still selected hold down your shift and then your arrow keys and this will move the image down so we want it to be right under the top phone case but not over it so about right there All right. And at this point, I need to make this one image. So when doing that, select the um, the layers, and then right-click and merge layers. And this will merge them into one image. All right, looks good. And then come down here and create a layer mask 
on the bottom phone image. And what this does is we'll be able to hide some of the image and the other part will show through. So click this button right here to bring your colors back to black and white. Then select your gradient tool. Make sure it is the black to no color. And then come on under your image. Hold shift so you get a straight line and click and drag up. And this will start to fade out the lower portion of your image. If you go, the higher you go up, the more it fades towards the top. And in doing this, you'll create a reflective look. And once you get the way you like it, you can turn the opacity down a little bit. About right there, looks pretty good. And now you have created the mock-up, professional looking mock-up. What I like to do is make the phone a little bit bigger, put it to the side a little bit, and then you can get your logo, which I have mine set on a paintbrush, which I will show you how to do this in another video as well. You can make your logo or any other image a paintbrush. So let's make a new layer. I have my paintbrush selected and it is my logo. Let's size this down by pressing the bracket keys on your keyboard. And let's make the color black. And then I will stamp it onto this layer. If you control T, you can move it any way you like it, size it any way you want. And there we have it, a professional looking mock-up of your phone case. Again, this is Daryl with DX Decor Graphics and Design. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.